In this video, I will show you how you can use the multicam function of DaVinci Resolve on your iPad. And I will actually show you two ways how you can do this. Number one will be in the cut page with this little icon here on the top with the sync and everything. I will explain you how you can use this. And solution number two will actually be in the media page where we create a multicam video. And then we can just by hitting keyboard shortcuts, say which camera we want. But I show you everything now. You bring all your footage in. I have here four cameras that were recording at the same time. So we have my main camera. This is my Canon that you always see when I talk to you. Then I have a GoPro that is filming my iPad. I have my iPhone that is sitting here next to me. And I have my screen recording and all of the four cameras have their own audio. So when you bring in your footage the very first time, you have to do the following because some people were coming here in like sync and what can I do and ah, it doesn't work. No, first step, you have to select everything. After you selected everything, don't go up here to sync. You have to first go to this icon here sync and now depends on how you created your file you can choose from different options like time code or your sound or your waveform how you want to sync all of those clips in my case i don't have a time code i didn't set this up in my cameras i'm using the waveform so i use this one here waveform and say sync and now it's syncing and it's actually creating a matched timeline file boom now you see everything is synced here and now we save sync and now oh what is happening you see now that we have synced files because you have this little icon here on the top the blue thing and how to access all of this is doesn't matter which of the files you now drag to your timeline let's say i drag my main camera down because i want to start with that one because i also want to use the audio from that camera which makes the most sense so now after i have my main camera on my timeline if i want to swap between my cameras this is where i now come up here to the sync function. In the sync function, you see now that we have our multi cameras one, two, three, and four, and I can even hit the, the keyboard shortcuts one, two, three, and four, and it will always show me a clip and also a selected area that I can now use to drag this to my timeline. And because we synced it before, now it will actually be exactly the part where we are right now. So when I hit, for example, one camera of my iPad at the moment, from here, start to the next is exactly where we are right now in the timeline. So I could just drag this down here and place it here on the top. I don't want that, so I just delete this. We, st we start with so camera three. Multicam camera test. This is my A camera. This is my Canon EOS R6. This is my so now I'm switching to my second camera, which is my iPhone. So I can click on this one here and drag and drop it exactly where my playhead is because I haven't moved it. So now this and this, this is my iPhone 13. Now it's swapping to this one. If I don't want to have the audio from that clip, I can just mute this here. This is my iPhone 13. Then we have my now we switch to the GoPro camera so I can click this and drag this down iPad and I'm recording on my iPad and we are recording from the iPad so I can drag this down here. If you now go out, you can all the time go into sync or go out of the sync thing. And now let's watch the stuff here in the timeline. So I have my main camera. So this kind of works okay. And for some of you guys, this is already a game changer. And now you can sync your stuff before and drag it to the timeline how you like. But I have a faster way and a way how you can swap between your cameras even on the timeline. And this is now solution number two. Let's delete all of this because we will restart everything I will drag this stuff in here I imported all four of my clips and now I go to the media page now I select everything here right click and then I say here create new timeline clip using selected clips now I have a couple of settings I can change I can give it a name I want to have the frame rate that's fine angle sync angle sync this is basically now the same like before with time code and sound I want to use the sound for syncing here with this one here move source clips into original clip spin it will create a new folder just for my original file so I only see the multicam clip so I say that one yes create now like before it's creating now a clip boom and now we have our multicam camera here and we have the original clips here so even if we now go to the cut page or the edit page I will go now to the edit page because we have more functions here and I can drag and drop this clip down here now you see just one camera this is camera angle one I can always right click on this one and then go here for example down switch multi camera angle switch it to whatever angle that I prefer so for example now in that case I want to have my main camera starting as the default and I can do the same for my audio I can also right click here on the audio and for example say here I want to have camera angle two but you know what I want to have camera angle three by the way I'm also using a shortcut if you go to the shortcuts menu and you look for multicam here multi you will find multicam cut and multicam switch 
So what we just did with the right click and default is the multicam switch. You can always switch it to whatever you want, even just using a shortcut. And if you give the multicam cuts shortcuts, I, for example, gave it new shortcuts now because I already use my one, two, three, and four in my shortcut menus. So when I hit, hit shift and one or shift and two or shift and three, I can cut to angle one, two, and three. I show you now how this works. It's important that you set this up or you look up how those shortcuts are for your keyboard shortcuts so you can follow along what I'm now teaching you. But you can also just do this with your mouse, but it's just easier and faster if you have a keyboard so you can use the shortcuts here. Like I told you before, I have shortcuts for just for changing. So for example, if I go in here now and say option one, two, three, or four is my angles. And you see now here how it's changing. One, two, three, and four. Okay, if we look at our multicam and double click here, this is now the source viewer. We can go down here and go to multicam. And the, the difference now between the desktop version and the iPad version is on the iPad, we only have one window that shows either the viewer or our timeline. On in the desktop, you have both. You have the source window and you have the timeline window. We don't have that here. So I was like, ah, is there a way how we can do this? And yes, we can actually bring the source window and the timeline window at the same time here to the iPad. So for that, we have to go back to the shortcuts menu. By default, it must be option three, but let's just look at this again. Source viewer, active panel selection. Here on the workspace, active panel selection, you will find source viewer. On my keyboard shortcuts now, it's option three. So you have to make sure that you have this one somewhere as well, like option three, for example. And now I can do the following with option three, even if I'm in the timeline, I can open the source viewer. So I see now the timeline and my multicam. So I can now even close my media pool and I see now my multicam here and I see my timeline viewer here. So even if I go here somewhere on my timeline, so now I will use option one, two. This is just for changing my default. I will go back to camera three. So my default is now my audio from camera three and my video from camera three. And the cool part about using synced multicam with this method is that I can now go in this window here. So if I now play my footage and I go with my mouse into these angles, I can click wherever angle I want and it will also automatically make the cut in my timeline. Look at this. Multicam camera test. This is my A camera. This is my Canon EOS R6. This is my iPhone 13, uh, 13 Pro. So as you saw, I could make now cuts just by clicking here in the clip. And if you put the shortcuts in that I showed you before, in my case now, this is shift one, two, three, four. I can do the same now with shortcuts. Hit play here in the timeline and then use sh shift one, two, three, or four for the cameras, one, two, three, and four. GoPro Hero 8 that is filming my iPad and I'm recording on my iPad. And this happens in real time. And this is the advantage why I wanted to show you this way of doing this, because with the other way, you will always have a selected area predefined from Da Vinci, and if you want to change that, you have to drag and drop. Ah, just takes forever. If you want to switch fast between one, two, three, four, one, two, three, this is the way to go. But we still have one problem. At the moment, it's also cutting the audio between those different angles because here, when you look at those icons, at the moment we are selecting video and audio at the same time. So if we, for example, want to change this now for the rest, I could select this one, and if I go here to the beginning and say now spacebar for play my iPad, my screen, so I can move my mouse here, I see Da Vinci. You see, even with the shortcuts, or even here in the window, now I only cut my video, but still using the audio that I wanted to use. So at the moment, multicam isn't working properly. After you do this, what I did just now, and you want, for example, for whatever reason, you want to have now just the audio, you have the icon here, but somehow the audio, same time recording, doesn't respond. For the audio, you, you, you can't do it like this, cut, cut, cut. Don't ask me why, I think they're still working on this. This is also the reason why the, the viewer window isn't supposed to be there, but because of the shortcut, I could bring it in. So if you're like me, in the most cases, you have one audio source that you're using most of the time, like my main camera with the good audio. You just cut to those angles for your, like for your YouTube video, for example, then it's already okay, you can use this. You still have method one that I showed you. It's more proper there that you can just drag and drop in. Here, if you wanna change the audio, I would recommend like for example doing the following if you have your cuts let's say you have different cuts here you can always come back in here right click and then switch your camera angle here to two and it will now change the audio here and if you have the shortcut for that you can do this by just selecting the audio and 
using up using the shortcuts for that as well so you can manipulate this it's not as easy as for the video video always works if you go back to video and you go back in here and you don't want that this long piece of camera angle 2 is there i can now go back in here hit space bar iphone 13 uh, 13 pro can change my camera angles and you see it's going in real time. So I wanted to show you this because this we can already use on the iPad. It's a very powerful feature if you have multi cameras and this is the two ways how you can use them. Let me know in the comments which way of those two ways you use. Maybe you found something out that I couldn't even find out then please let me know in the comments as well. By the way the masterclass is getting almost done. We have a lot of content in especially now for the color page. So if you want to take DaVinci Resolve on the iPad serious and you want to become better from beginner to pro go and get the masterclass there's so much value that's already in it and there's so much value that will come in it and so save the price right now that you still have and we we'll see us in the next video i'm daniel bye